was a bit of a dilemma, man. I was driving around here for literally about half an hour. I tried every place possible to find a parking space, but um, it was very difficult. So always try to go online and reserve a parking spot. But I was very lucky I found a parking here. So we could basically park here for two hours. So we have to do much filming for two hours, get it over and done with. I hope you guys appreciate all the hard work I do just to come to these places and just to film for you guys. And uh, you know, it costs time, effort, money, and to record and travel is hard. So please subscribe, like, comment, share, and welcome to St. Ives, and let's show you St. Ives Beach. I'm here, I've managed to find a parking space and it's literally about 10 minutes walk down this path and we're gonna go down the steep path and they've actually got three areas where you could go and walk. Let me show you. So this is the first one. You've got the Warminster Beach, then you've got the second one, the harbour and then you've got the other one. So we're going to try to do all three and I'm going to basically walk down this hill now. Look at this guys, how beautiful does it look, all these flowers. Beautiful, right? So viewers watching, just to get an idea of the price around St. Ives, I'm going to give you some examples and tell you how much the price to start from. So we have a property here, which is a five bedroom property for 750,000. We have another property here, which is three bedroom for about 550,000. Actually, the prices are not that bad compared to many, but I'm going to show you some properties here. So, one property here, which is actually a six bedroom house, cost 2.5 million. Another property here, 2 million, recently got sold. This is a four bedroom property. And we have another property here, which is one million. So yeah, the property prices in this area is around that price tag. But, um, <laughs> it made me I like it when you get the reaction in the camera as well, when something like that happens, it's quite hilarious. But, um, even when you come and stay here, the hotel prices are extortionate. So if you want to stay in a hotel for seven nights in this area, you look, you're looking around £2,000, depending where you stay. But if you find a cheap place outside, you could get it for around £500, depending on when you book it. 
and what season because in the season time it gets very expensive so they've got lovely narrow small roads here and even the properties here look so beautiful they've got so much character most of these properties are for let people rent out and during the holiday season they make lots and lots of money so it's actually a good investment for people to buy properties here especially during the tourist time now it's absolutely packed with people and they could basically make a lot of money viewers what do you think does it look picturesque so all the hard work has paid off it literally took me probably about half an hour just to find a parking space first we found it and it's only a 10 minute walk there's two places you can park which is very easy and simple to find the ledger center or you could park at the rugby club there are places to park so now i'm gonna actually have a little walk stroll on the beach and i just want to show you guys and absorb what you see but you actually want to be here to actually take it all in because watching it on a tv screen or your mobile phone and actually being here and experience it is totally different so let me show you the beach go for a walk definitely take your shoes off sandals off and uh, walk which is very very beautiful and it's very good for your feet as well and it makes a big difference man because that is therapy it's definitely therapy walking uh, with bare feet and um, the weather is actually perfect I would say it's around 20 20 degrees Celsius, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. But always, and I always say this to all the viewers, whenever you go to these places, carry a rucksack and have everything there wherever you need because you don't want to go back to the car and bring everything. Even if you have a little first aid box as well at a time, because if you cut yourself, you have an injury. Yeah, and definitely just enjoy, get some food as well. But honest to God, I'm really amazed that I came here. Beach are definitely happy.
highly recommend it. It's one of the best beaches in England. So you must come here.
coffee bar there and we're gonna actually walk through this road and they've got all the food places so let me show you all the food places they have in this area only have the last cheese and onion Cornish pasty one of the last one which is a shame but I'm gonna try it look Bismillah this is actually supposed to be award-winning place this place and they're renowned for their pastries but yeah it's really nice. Mm. Simply delicious, guys. Guys, you can't go wrong with two cheap ice creams from a co op. Why buy expensive one there for about four or five quid when you could buy two for like three quid? You can't go wrong, can you? Guys, if you're not fit like me, they've got some escalators on the other side, so just use the escalators. One thing I've noticed, a lot of these properties here, so when they want to use their yard, because they don't have a garden, they have to climb more. So let me show you what I mean. So these are all the decking of the garden they have and they have to make use of whatever they have so they've got like sheds here as well and they've got a decking area just imagine if it collapses that's it we've had it and some people they're actually drying the onions there as well so interesting anyway let's carry on and let's go to Land's End. Viewers, just before I finish the vlog in St. Types, I want to mention a few things. The water is not actually close like turquoise, and you can swim there. You could also get one of them uh, canoes. You could get a boat. You could even do a jet ski. There's a lot of things you could do here. And it's been a very beautiful day. It's been really nice, not too hot, warm, probably about 20 degrees Celsius. The beach is so clean and so tidy and everything just seems so relaxed here. It's not too much people and it's definitely highly recommended. I do definitely highly recommend this beach that you come here. And yeah, it's just been amazing. I hope you have appreciate my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please like, comment, share, subscribe. And let me know what was the beach you want to see. But yeah, it's one of the nicest beaches. But uh, I'll be continuing the vlog and doing different parts of Cornwell. But for St. Ives, that's it. Benito, cabo!